Welcome back, fellow prospectors. Today we are focusing on the land market. So why don't we get started? Recently, the land market was deployed and the seven day block period was also changed. So why don't we take a little bit of a closer look at the land market here. We're going to go to one of my properties and look in at the info tab. When you look at it, you will notice that it will mention when this property is rented until the current owner, the rent price, and you have the option to continue the rent or auction or pass it on at the bottom. If you click on the auction, it says that the auction will last for 24 hours. You can put in your starting price and then press create. I'm going to press cancel because I don't want to put it up for auction. The other option here is the pass on. If you click on pass on, you can sell or pass your current plot to a specific account. Let's say I had a friend and they had arranged with me to buy it at a specific price or I want to offer it up to them because they have an interest. I would put in their account name and the price that I would like and click pass on. So why don't we go check out the land registry? We go on out, it's a little icon in the middle at the bottom left. And here you'll see the auction tab. All the properties that are up for auction are listed. You can click on make a bid and click yes if you want to make a bid at that current next or asking price. Okay. The inbox tab here is if you got any requests for people to pass on their plots to you. You'd be able to see the specifics and move on from there. So let's learn a little bit more about the seven day block period. I'm going to go take a look here and it mentions that if you miss a rent payment, your plot will be blocked for seven days. Now what happens after the seven days is your plot is going to be confiscated. At that point, it's now going to be put up for auction. So why don't we take a look here? If I go out to my map, I can click on the filters and click on confiscated plots. I'm going to go find one that's confiscated just to show you what it says. Okay, so we click on info. It clearly mentions that this plot is on the auction after the confiscation. So it's going to be up for auction for 24 hours. And if it is not purchased, it's going to be considered abandoned and just be un considered another free plot. So we can also go back to the filter and look at free plots. And you'll be able to see a whole bunch of free plots. Now this plot over here, I know used to be owned, but it looks like it was confiscated, put up for auction and not bought. So now it is available for rent like any other available plot. And that's it. You've learned more about the land registry and the seven day block. Don't forget to hit subscribe so that you're kept up to date with all our latest videos. This video was narrated by Jenny of EOS. Very cool.